Question 6, there is a skier going down an incline and we are supposed to find the acceleration of the skier. So just before we start I'm going to um, say what my reference uh, directions are here. So I'm going to say in this case this parallel direction is positive and there's also a perpendicular one. So down the incline it will be positive and then so the direction of the normal force will be positive in the other direction. Okay, so um, we need to find the, the acceleration. So once again, uh, we're going to start with a, a force diagram. Maybe I'll put it over here. So I've got a force of gravity going straight downwards. And I've got a normal force that is going perpendicular to the incline. If I kind of do this to show the direction of the incline, uh, that would be the normal force. And I do have a force of friction going this direction. Uh, it makes a lot of sense to have components to that force of gravity. So the components uh, could be this direction here and this direction here. And these components do have direction. It's that way and this way. So this would be Fg perpendicular and this one would be Fg parallel. And these, I'm going to put some equality marks on there. By the way, uh, I will mention that you could also draw these components instead of drawing the force of gravity. You could just draw the components. And I'm going to draw here. Uh, maybe I'll do the dashed. There's my force of gravity parallel. And here's my force of gravity perpendicular. Here's my normal force. And here's my force of friction. So I can also uh, take this force here, really what I've done is taken that force and I've moved it over here. It looks like it, it accidentally grew a bit in size as well. But sometimes it's a little bit easier to, to look at things and reason about them. So these two are going to be equal. And so my net force in this case is going to be equal to, well, this is a force Fg parallel minus the force of friction. So I'm going to say F net is going to be equal to Fg parallel minus the force of friction. All right, so that's time to figure out some numbers here. So uh, my mass is 60 kilograms, so my force of gravity is going to be 600 newtons. Um, I'll just work over here. My Fg parallel is going to be 600 multiplied by the sine, in this case of 35 degrees. And so I think if I get my calculator out, I'm not sure, 344.15. Um, my Fg perpendicular is going to be equal to 600 times the cos of 35. Um, not sure what that is. Hold on. So it's 491.49 newtons. Now my normal force is also going to be that 491.49 newtons. The only difference is that it is actually in the positive direction. My force of friction, and this is really why I figured those last two out, is it's mu times the normal force. So mu is 0 0.08 when I multiply that times the normal force of 491. Uh, then what do I get? 39.3. So I think I've got enough information so I can go back over here and say, okay, so this will be 344.15 minus 39.3. So my net force will be, oh, I think 304.8, something like that. And I want to find the acceleration. So the acceleration is going to be equal to F net over M. So when I divide that out, I think I get 5.08 meters per second squared. Okay, great. I hope, uh, Hopefully that was helpful. Thanks. I'll see you in class.